What we see here is the first tricycle equipped with a Bosch magneto ignition device. It effectively signaled the company's first move into the automotive market. It had previously been operating from a small workshop, sometimes with just 10 or 15 employees. With this small device, Bosch managed to fill a gap in the market by producing a reliable ignition system for a motor vehicle. This guaranteed the company's rise. The automobile was a roaring success, and Robert Bosch had developed exactly the right ignition system for it. 1907, ten years after this tricycle was built, saw the first motor race from Paris to Beijing. It was only the Bosch ignition device that made this race possible. The magneto ignition did not require a battery. It was triggered by the running of the motor and was the first system that made it possible to handle really high speeds. The Bosch Magneto was the best ignition system so far in this regard. Bosch quickly became inundated with orders for the Magneto he had installed on the tricycle. Word got around among the car manufacturers that his ignition system was reliable, rarely failed and could be used to drive long distances. So began a success story that even Bosch himself had not anticipated. In the years that followed, Bosch sold 50,000 Magneto ignition units. This enabled him to move into the first factory of his own, triggering his rise from a small workshop owner to a large-scale manufacturer.